right, here he is, Sweden's best, the former two-time UFC light heavyweight title challenger, Alexander Gustafsson, certainly a guy who gave you a fight in Houston back in the day. That was the fight of the night at UFC 192, and I know taught you a lot about yourself as a fighter. Yes, I learned a lot of lessons in that fight against Gustafsson. But you look at Alexander, and people want to question whether or not he has the durability, the toughness to overcome insurmountable odds. Trust me, he does. He has fantastic footwork, underrated wrestling, in very, very good boxing. A very smart guy who trains out of the All-Stars Academy out in Sweden, has great coaching, and it shows every time he steps foot in the octagon. Yeah, he hinted at retirement a few years ago, but his head and his heart seem to be in the right place. Alexander Gustafsson looking to prove a point here tonight. Alexander Gustafsson has graced the octagon. He is ready to go. Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pedeta? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pajeda, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. to fight the mother, Alexander Gustafson. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight title fight. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Alexander the Mahler Gustafsson. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Well, he's been in there with the best in the game. John Jones, Daniel Cormier, and the like. Here is Sweden's finest, Alexander Gustafsson. Outstanding striker, can hurt you with all eight limbs. Ten career wins by knockout. Eight first-round finishes. That bears watching tonight. Big right hand. Head kick there, blocked by Pedeta. Big kick. Misses with the left hook. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Oh, nice take up. You gotta be careful here. Up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Pineda gets worked here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. 
He's got to be careful here. Down into his mouth. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Gustafson's going for an arm here. Oh, that looks wicked tight. It's getting tight now. He's advancing. No, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Just over two minutes to go. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. Gustafson's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. He's got that single collar tie. Oh, big elbow. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Under a minute to go. Nice eyes on the defensive side. Tags it with that uppercut. Final seconds of round one. Oh. Five minutes oh. the books. So a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay if you would. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. You ready to fight? You ready? Yeah. All right, here we go with round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Movement to slip the left hand. Nice punch to the head. Oh, they're trying good shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. to the knee strike now. Three minutes to go in round two. He's able to slip the left. Man, has his chin been tested early. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Overhand block there by Padena. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Trouble. Oh, nice elbow. Nice level change. Under a minute to go. 
Well, Gustafson's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. There it is, now he's going to muscle. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage out there. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you control the underhook on the far side. Just before the horn, so he'll walk back to his corner here. We'll see if they can get him physically, mentally back into the fight. What a moment at the end of that round. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, jump on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Straight punch. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, nice right hand. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence, and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one. Like yeah. You don't really stand. After you take a head kick like this, that is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. There you go. There you go. Let's go. Get them out here. This is a terrible position. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Nicely done. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Gustafson's back to the side control now. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This feet. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling. And that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Pretty strong jab there by Gustafson. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Pudding. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect him. Nice defense there. Huge block. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is Ready. going. 
Great. Good. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Yeah. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go in the next 10 minutes. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these are to take. No, he does. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Nice strike from the bottom fighter there. Again, strong work here by Gustafson. Side control now. Beautiful transition. Under three minutes to go in round four. Now he's going full mount. Back mount now. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last point. Oh, great technique on the overhand, now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you in the night that one land, you're fighting. Well, that overhand, big weapon for him throughout his career, it's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Gustafson's in half goal. Oh, great job by him there to reverse things and get the dominant position. Oh, great transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Gustafson. And there you go, again, half guard. Alex Pereira getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. Nice transition. Lands the grounded pound strike here. just before you heard the horn. And of course, he's only got 60 seconds with which to recover. Not a lot of time to get his head back into this one. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Just missing on the uppercut there. What a
And here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 40 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Poetai. I mean, I have run out of superlatives when it comes to describing this. Alex Pereira gets it done by knockout tonight. This dude was 3-1 and one when he made his UFC debut. It's crazy. It's so crazy to see how far he's come in such a short period of time. Now, the result isn't surprising because that's what he does. He knocks people out. But the fact that he's continued to do this as he goes up the rankings, really impressive.